Welcome to yet another Romsky video. This has been probably the longest span of time I haven't posted in a season. That's mainly because it's been a really busy season. I wanted to put an update after Nebelhorn, but then things got really crazy and got really busy. I got another new program. I had two weeks to work in that program, so then we went to Skate America. Uh, Skate America was what Skate America was, and then um, we're here. We're live and well. Everything's good with me. I hope everything's good with you guys. And let's uh, let's get on with this update video. You can tell that it's been like a long time since I posted because the last time I posted, I think I was still in like t-shirt and shorts. And now we're at a point where the leaves are essentially gone. Some leaves, some red and green, some co some color in the air. Right, Halloween already happened, and here I am with a with a coat. I am prepping for the first snow. But yeah, there's definitely a lot to catch up on. And I hope to cover everything. Uh, I do need to step into the rink. It's time to get some training in. There's a lot of busy stuff happening in the rink. My club is hosting sectionals. So there's a lot of preparation to do with that, and I'm organizing the display cases there. I have to finish that up today, because then tomorrow is the start of sectionals. So hopefully that's done. I gotta hang up some picture frames, vacuum up everything, clean up everything. Along with that, we gotta train, and put in some baller training sessions. And all right, let's head out. So I don't honestly don't even know where to start. Last video was what the new long, the new long, which eventually became the old long, which became another long. Okay, so since then, I guess training has been going well. Been going up and down, you know, typical summer training things. First event, I did a summer event in uh, Mississauga. So it's like 20 minutes out from where I live, 30 minutes out from here. And I did just a short program, just cause like I wasn't in a position where I could actually do a long yet, like fully with a certain level of quality that would deem acceptable. I wasn't ready, put it that way. And it was a plan from the start that I was just gonna do the short in that event. And so the short went really well. And funny enough, uh, people on Twitter noticed I had a fall deduction. There's no stream of it, so they noticed a fall deduction, but no deductions on the jumps, yes, so things happened. Yeah, interesting mistakes. And then after that, there was a couple, couple more weeks of training, then I had high performance camp. The short was even better at that, at that event, and it was the first time I was doing that long. And for those of you who know, it was uh, Fix You by Coldplay. And the long wasn't like the strongest there, but that was kind of to be expected. And then it was at that point there where we kind of like, we get feedback at High Performance Camp, right? So we perform in front of this like panel of judges. It's essentially like a simulated competition. It's like a simulated nationals. So the whole national team is there and we all kind of debut or show our programs to the panel and we get feedback and feedback was pretty like positive, but uh, Tracy and I both kind of like read, we can kind of read the reactions and the, the atmosphere and the feedback wasn't as overwhelmingly positive as past programs have been, which wasn't very inspiring to us. And also um, we found training the program was more difficult, like the actual song was more difficult to train. Doing Fix You for four and a half minutes was, or four minutes was, uh, not panning out the way we wanted it to. So we came to this like crossroads going into Nebelhorn. We were thinking, okay, so what do we do? What are our next steps? And there wasn't that much time. There was like maybe a week. And so we came to the conclusion, okay, there's no point to do a program that might not work or won't even be used for the rest of the season. So let's just go back to chasing cars so that it's a little bit more comfortable so we can start the season with something and then we'll come back and work on a new program and find something. And funny enough, while this happened, Mark already found a piece that was just released. So it was new, fresh, and you wouldn't be able to get to it because it just got released. We went into Nebelhorn with Chasing Cars. We trained it for, I don't know, like a week and a half going in, but the training was still there. I was planning going into that competition to do two quads, two axles, and a long, which would have been like, quite a bit since I've put that into a long, ever since COVID lockdowns and stuff. But uh, yeah, the short was really, really good at Nebelhorn. 
And then the long, going into the long, I was again struggling with like a groin injury, just a chronic groin injury, similar to what happened at Worlds actually, except Worlds I had a day in between the short and long, and this time I didn't, so we kind of had to dumb the program down to just one axle and um, we substituted out for triple flips, which I got edge calls on, so it didn't actually help me out in the end. The long on paper looked much worse than the actual performance, but whatever. Um, I felt better, like fit-wise, than HP Camp, which goes to tell you something. So then we came back and immediately got into choreographing a new program. We got the new program done, we got it, again, composed a little bit with Maxime, and worked on it for about two weeks, so it is a two-week-old program and then we had to jump into Skate America right away. That was a pretty solid seshi and GL. Short run was good. The short runs were really good going into Skate America too. I felt pretty comfortable there. I just kind of overcooked the LUTs. It goes for, there's like 10 points, almost. So my single skating is wild. The points are so volatile. Skate America overall was pretty good. Uh, the short was a bit of a disappointment to me just because like they were doing going really well. And the long program, I actually finally went in for the two triple axles and uh, I was kind of let down that I missed the second one. Just in practice, they were working so well, like at home, the two axles. So I thought that would be like a really good opportunity to like put it out there in a competition setting. And when I missed it, I was like, come on, man. Like that was the moment. It's okay, there's plenty of more moments to figure it out. It was a much stronger performance than Nebelhorn. There's no doubt about it. I felt stronger, it was way more fit. Even though I'm going in like two week bursts, right? I had like HP camp, two, three weeks, Nebelhorn, two weeks, Skate America. Two weeks, um, what's it called? The MK, the Sheffield one. What's it called? MK John Wilson Trophy. I'm going in these two week spans, so it's actually like consistent and nice, and um, I'm getting more mileage. With every two weeks, I'm getting more mileage and getting more comfortable. I think in the last video, I don't even remember what I posted, but I feel like I was posting a lot of the development on the quad toes and working on the quad toes. Uh, I think that was what, like May, April, May, June? They were going really well. And then we started putting them into the program and they were not going really well at all. <laughs> so it went like from huge improvement to a little bit of a slump and now they're improving again. Um, I'm not putting it in the program until it's like solid.
All right, I think that's good enough of an update for you guys. I'm just uh, in the middle of editing it right now. Looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing an event that hasn't been done before. I don't think there has ever... Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's ever been a Grand Prix in uh, Sheffield before, so can't wait to see you guys there if you're there. And on that note, I'll let you guys go. You guys know what to do. Smash the subscribe button. I'm just gonna finish editing this real quick and uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh